good morning dear students how are you all i believe you all are fit and fine so my dear students as you know in science we are doing chapter number 2 and we are classifying plants on different basis earlier we have classified plants on the basis of their habitat as you know on the basis of habitat plants can be classified into two categories first is aquatic plants and second is terrestrial plants aquatic plants are those plants which are found in water and terrestrial plants are those plants which are found on land further aquatic plants can be classified into three categories and those three categories are floating plants fixed plants and submerged plants earlier i have given you one video specially on aquatic plants and one video that was based on terrestrial plants so terrestrial plants can be classified into following categories we have done plants in plain areas plants in marshy areas plants in desert areas plants in hilly areas plants in grasslands and plants in coastal areas so this we have done that how to classify plants on the basis of their habitat so in today's video we are going to classify plants on the basis of how they obtain food yes my dear friends we are going to classify plants on the basis of how they obtain food so on the basis of how they obtain food plants can be classified into three categories and these three categories are number 1 is green plants number 2 non green plants and number 3 is insectivorous plants i repeat insectivorous plants so one by one we will discuss about these three categories in details so firstly we are going to start with green plants so green plants as you know they are green in color because they have a green pigment called chlorophyll present in the leaves of the plants which help plants to prepare the foods so some of the special features of these plants are that these plants have chlorophyll which makes them appear green in color and because of chlorophyll they make their own food by the process of photosynthesis so by this process these plants make their own food and as they make their own food that's why these plants are known as producers yes my dear friends these plants are known as producers producers are those plants that make their own food through photosynthesis and all other animals depend on these plants directly or indirectly for their food directly means some plants some animals eat grass or leaves of other plants directly like elephant cow buffalo goat so these animals depend on plants directly because they get their food directly from the plants but the animals like lion tiger they directly don't depend on plants because they don't eat plants they eat other animals they eat animals like deer goat so lion depend on deer for its food and deer depend on plants for its its food so lion indirectly depends on plants for its food okay my dear friends so i think the first category of the plants that is green plants is clear and now we can move to second category that is non green plants so as it is clear from the name that these plants will be non green they will not be green in color like this one you can see in the example this is indian tube plant or we can say indian pipe plant also so this indian tube plant is white in color as 
this indian tube plant has no chlorophyll so it cannot prepare its own food because they have no chlorophyll in the same way you can see this plant this is coral root this is pink in color and again it does not have chlorophyll so it also cannot prepare its own food and one more example that is cascuta plant this yellow colored pipe like structure which you can see here this one and you can see in your surrounding also on some trees you can find it this yellow colored tube like plant is cascuta plant and we call it amarbel also or dodder plant also its other names are amarbel we call it and dodder plant also we call it so these plants are non green and as they are non green so they cannot prepare their own food they don't have chlorophyll and that's why we give them name a chlorophyllus what is the name a chlorophyllus or we can say non photosynthetic plants because they cannot perform photosynthesis because they don't have chlorophyll yes kyunki in plants ke leaves green nahi hain unke paas mein chlorophyll pigment nahi hai to isiliye ye photosynthesis ka process follow karke apna food prepare nahi kar sakte hain so that's why these plants are called non photosynthetic plants and the examples they can be further divided into two categories examples we have done cascuta coral root and indian tube plant but how they get their food so there are two methods by which these plants get their food and these two methods are parasitic plants and saprophytic plants so their method of obtaining food their method of getting food can be either parasitic or saprophytic so what does these words mean so firstly we will discuss about parasitic so parasitic plants get their food from other living plants or living organisms for example you can we can see this cascuta plant so this cascuta plant obtain its uh, food from other plants which are green in color as you can see in the picture this plant is spread on other green plants and green plants prepare their own food and this plant get the food take the food prepared by green plant it consume that food it use their food and it depend on uh, other living organisms that's why they are known as parasitic plants so cascuta is an example of parasitic plant and in the same way we will discuss about other method and other method is as you know saprophytic plant and saprophytic plants get their food from dead and decaying matter the matter which is dead and decaying jo plant ya animal matter डेड है और जो डिके हो रहा है डिके मीन्स जो गल सड़ रहा है ऐसे मटीरियल से ये प्लांट्स अपना फूड ऑप्टेन करते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल कोरल रूट इट ऑप्टेन इट्स फूड फ्रॉम अदर डेड एंड डिकेइंग मटीरियल एंड इन द सेम वे इंडियन पाइप प्लांट ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन डेड एंड डिकेइंग मैटर फॉर इट्स फूड सो दिस वॉज all about non green plants so non green plants have no chlorophyll and that's why they are called a chlorophyllous or non photosynthetic plants and they depend either on living organism or on dead and decaying material and if they depend on living then they are called parasitic and if they depend on other dead and decaying material then they are called saprophytic and cascuta is an example of parasitic plant and indian pipe and coral root 
are examples of saprophytic plants. So I hope this one is clear to you. Now we can move on to next category that is insectivorous plants. And as it is clear from the name, insectivorous means these plants depend on insects for their food. So it means they also cannot prepare their own food. No, it's not so. These plants can prepare their food. But why they capture and eat insects from their surroundings? Okay, let's find out. So insectivorous plants or we can say carnivorous plants. They have chlorophyll. They can prepare their own food. But like our body, we can survive if we eat only chapatis. हम जिंदा रह सकते हैं अगर हम सिर्फ चपातीज खाते हैं तो बट आर बॉडी नीड सम एक्स्ट्रा न्यूट्रिएंट्स फॉर इट्स प्रॉपर ग्रोथ फॉर इट्स प्रॉपर फंक्शनिंग एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी ईट डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स वी टेक डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ थिंग्स वी लाइक वी ड्रिंक मिल्क समटाइम्स वी टेक एक्स्ट्रा सप्लीमेंट्स ऑल्सो फॉर विटमिनस सो Why uh, sometimes some people used to eat calcium tablets so that their body can get calcium. So in the same way, these plants also need some nutrients which they get from insects. They don't eat insects for their food per food requirement. No, they have chlorophyll. They can prepare their own food, but they need some extra nutrients because the soil. in which these plants grow lack in nutrients just mitti mein jo soil mein ye plants grow karte hain wo soil nutrients ki kami hoti hai us soil ke andar aur un nutrients ki kami ko pura karne ke liye these plants eat insects they capture and eat insects and that's why they are called insectivorous or carnivorous plants so let's have a look at the examples of this plant these plants so venus fly trap is one of the example it has lobed like leaves iski jo leaves hoti hain semi circle type mein hoti hain and whenever any insect come in the contact these leaves slowly get closed band ho jati hain and the insect dies inside in the same way sun dew plant when any insect sit on this part of the plant then it starts to fold up ye jo plant ka ye jo part hai ye dheere dheere fold hona shuru ho jata hai and it capture the insect so this is an example of sun this is the plant sun dew in the same way bladder wort it is also an insectivorous plant in the same way is pitcher plant in pitcher plant the leaves are modified in the shape of a pitcher or you can say a jug type with a lid with a cover like structure this structure is the lid of the plant whenever any insect come it goes inside the pitcher or we can say the jug and the lid lid get closed so that the insect do not come out again so in this way pitcher plant catches insects and eats them so my dear students Now we are going to discuss about fungi. You can say it fungi also, and we can say it fungi also. So fungi, what is fungi? So earlier fungi was considered as plant. पहले fungi को plant माना जाता था, but now it is not classified as plants. अब हम इसको plants में नहीं मानते हैं. We consider it a different category. and the name of the category is fungi so some fungi are useful also and some are harmful also so what is fungi and where you can find it see here are some examples dusty patches found on bread like this cheese also on sometimes on books also so these dusty patches are of fungi in the same way these dusty or whitish dusty matter which is found on leather products such as shoes purse belts in rainy season specially so this dusty patches is fungi in the same way you can find it on the 
wood also in your homes also you can find these kind of white structures on the wood they are also an example of fungi in the same way mushroom that is used in cooking also that is also an example of fungi and yeast yes yeast is an example of fungi wait let me write clearly yeast is an example of fungi that is used in making breads cakes idlis so it makes bread soft and spongy so yeast is an example of fungi that is useful for us the fungi which grow on bread which is found on shoes that is harmful for us in the same way the fungi which is found on wood that is also harmful for us and the mushroom fungi which is found in the form of mushroom can be used in cooking we make vegetable of mushrooms also so these are also non green and but they are not considered as plants we do not consider them as plants hum inko plants nahi mante hain okay so now last point which i want to discuss with you that there is a myth that some carnivorous plants eat people कुछ लोगों का ऐसा मानना होता है एक भ्रम है एक वहम होता है कि जो कुछ कार्निवरस प्लांट्स होते हैं जैसे वीनस फ्लाई ट्रैप या सन ड्यू दे कैन ईट पीपल ऑल्सो नो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ नॉट सो द ट्रूथ इज दैट दे कैन कैप्चर एंड ईट एंड डाइजेस्ट ओनली स्मॉल इंसेक्ट्स एंड स्मॉल एनिमल्स ओनली दे कैन नॉट डाइजेस्ट और दे कैन नॉट कैप्चर बिग एनिमल्स और ह्यूमन बींग्स सो इट इज़ ओनली अ मिथ इट इज़ नॉट द ट्रूथ ये सिर्फ हमारा वहम है और ऐसा रियलिटी में ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है ओके सो दे कैन नॉट डाइजेस्ट और दे कैन नॉट ईट बिग एनिमल्स सो आई होप माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस चैप्टर टू इज क्लियर टू यू एंड टूडे विद दिस वीडियो चैप्टर टू इज फिनिश्ड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो और इन द नेक्स्ट Uh, day of your science homework we we are going to discuss exercise part of chapter number 2 till then i'll request all of you to watch all the videos of chapter 2 actually chapter 2 in chapter 2 i have given you four videos in total so watch all the four videos i'll share link with you in your class group and that's all for now now this is the end of the video thank you all for your attention Take care stay home stay safe and stay healthy